All right, uh, let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to give you a quick introduction, Jim, before we get started. Um, you're going to be talking about CST Studio, the electromagnetic simulation tool uh, that integrates with SolidWorks and 3D Experience. Uh, Jim's going to cover a ton of ground today. A really nice introduction to electromagnetic simulation, you know, what it can do for you, how it integrates with the design tools, um, and then take a look at the actual interface um, and see kind of what technologies and what industries this can help solve problems in. Uh, it's a really powerful tool. So a quick uh, update or, or sort of introduction to Optimal Designs. Uh, this is a company that Jim co-founded, and they are a partner with MLC CAD Systems. They're brought in to help us to identify and work with uh, customers and prospects on electromagnetic simulation. Um, they'll be able to help configure, train, and support all of our customers. So when you're working with MLC CAD and CST Studio, you're also working with Optimal Designs. We're all working on this together, and uh, we're going to be kind of your one-stop shop. So Jim, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? My name is Jim Reed. I have over 25 years of experience supporting the aerospace and defense, telecommunication, and consumer electronic firms in electromagnetic simulation design and software support. I was one of the first application engineers for CST in North America from 2000 to 2004, and more recently have led the electromagnetic divisions for CST Studio Suite sales and support with several Dassault System partners from 2019 to 2023. Now I'm supporting the Dassault Systems Partner Channel for CST sales, support, and customer enablement services. Electromagnetics are all around us, including turning on the lights, enjoying home audio or gaming devices, touching the screen of our mobile device, riding an electric bike or car, calling friends on a mobile phone, or even receiving medical treatment, including the MRI. In the electromagnetic spectrum, we can see the range of frequencies and different types of devices in this image, including the very small fraction of visible light. Electromagnetic equations can be written in several forms, including static, low frequency, and high frequency. Historically, the commercial market provides a separate software solution for each of these mathematical forms. This is what separates CST. In a single interface, the complete EM spectrum is represented from DC to daylight, both time domain and in frequency domain, and includes multi-physics and thermal, fluid, and first order structural effects. Throughout this presentation, I will show you how CST can address challenges and provide you with state-of-the-art solver solutions. Areas of value include emerging markets with electrification, 5G and beyond, internet of things, smart objects, autonomous driving. Design challenges, complexity, the interference, miniaturization, integration, and even material science. Innovation, driven analysis and enhanced understanding of the solution space. Virtual prototype, advanced prediction on performance, manufacturing tolerance, and thermal management. Compliance and compatibility. Prediction of compliance issues with the FCC or compatibility issues with EMI and EMC analysis. Multidisciplinary working environment. Cloud collaboration amongst engineers and project managers is an option. Time to market and cost. Design, cy design cycle time is reduced, quicker to market at less cost. This is a snapshot of different EM applications moving from low frequency to high frequency. What defines the low frequency from high frequency is the comparison between the size of the device to wavelength of operation. Low frequency devices are a fraction of a wavelength, where high frequency devices are multiple wavelengths. Starting with low frequency applications, examples include sensors, MRI, electric motors, transformers, eddy current couplers, etc. Moving over to high frequency examples include antennas, filters, circulators, waveguides, etc. Electronic analysis in CST can cover both low and high frequency effects jointly, including low frequency power, in power integrity analysis, 
to high frequency, high speed transmission lines. And lastly, more exotic EM applications include particle analysis for particle acceleration and tracking, as well as the study of high power applications for corona and multipaction. A common technology example is of course antennas. And in this slide, we see a common mobile phone which operates with six different antennas. CST allows not only the design of a single antenna, but also the complete operating analysis of the phone and if interference and violations exist. Another technology example, which is also related to antennas, is biomedical exposure. CST includes a library of biomedical models as well as post-processing templates for exposure analysis. CST has an array of integrated design tools, including antenna magnets for antenna design, filter designer for planar and 3D filter design, FEST for waveguide network design, SPART 3D for corona and multipaction analysis, and ITEM for advanced spice creation from simulated S parameters. A new user will recognize immediately that CST's GUI is both advanced and friendly to use. It has a common Windows bar, ribbon bar for navigation, on-screen parameter list for easy access, progress and message windows, and lastly, a vertical navigation tree that quickly changes the primary user screen between pre and post-processing. The embedded help files are both expansive and easy to navigate with hyperlinks to relevant material. You can find information ranging from mathematical explanation of solvers to resolving an operation question. The component library includes over 500 pre-built models and over 50 tutorials for step-by-step -step model creation. Although CAD integration will be discussed next, CST does include an advanced 3D modeler with standard primitives as well as sophisticated geometry commands. Some of these geometry commands include the loft, twist, spiral, and arbitrary 2D rotation. CST allows for seamless collaboration with a broad selection of mechanical CAD systems viewed in this list, including SOLIDWORKS, CATIA, STEP, OBD, and more. After importing a CAD model, the user can still make geometry operations to the objects, including removing unneeded features for EM analysis, as well as parameterizing planar or circular faces. A key feature for CST is the live link feature to SOLIDWORKS. In this parameter import feature, CST can open a native SOLIDWORKS file with parameters, read these parameters, and make changes directly to the SOLIDWORKS file. This allows the CST engineer to conduct both parametric and optimization analysis using parameters built inside the SOLIDWORKS file. This is a new paradigm, both in simplifying the number of steps for SOLIDWORKS engineers to collaborate with CST engineers, but also reducing, reducing human error in the process. CST Studio Suite includes 25 solvers broken down into different family groups. We are going to conduct a deep dive to illustrate the broad capability and value. The base package of CST Studio Suite covers all these design modules from static to high frequency, PCB simulation, multi-physics, as well as circuit simulation. Let's start off with a high frequency subset of solvers and the flagship Microwave Studio. Microwave Studio includes seven high frequency solvers, including two general purpose solvers, the time domain and the frequency domain, as well as more purpose specific solvers of Eigen, Integral, and Asymptotic. This slide conveys the mathematical technique and meshing type per solver. This graphic depicts the non-uniform hexahedral mesh used in time domain, the curved tetrahedral mesh used in frequency and Eigen domain, and the curved triangular surface mesh used in integral solvers. Two general purpose solvers that utilize 3D meshing and provide S parameters are the time domain and frequency domain, where the time domain includes the default finite integration technique approach, but can be switched to the transmission line for specific applications. 
Some of the key differences of time domain and frequency domain are the following. Time domain simulates a broadband of frequencies in a single simulation, where frequency domain evaluates one frequency at a time. Time domain uses a time marching scheme to solve for the electrical unknowns, where frequency domain conducts a matrix inversion for the electrical unknowns. Time domain is capable of electrically large mesh, where frequency domain is more appropriate for small to medium mesh. Meshing technique in time domain is very effective for complicated imports. Time domain can be slow with high Q structures where frequency domain can simulate high Q quicker. And time domain is GP capable, GPU capable for hardware acceleration where frequency domain has a high return for increased number of cores. This graph shows the relation of electrical volume slash mesh size for typical solve time and time domain and frequency domain. The big takeaway is time domain is more efficient with memory usage and time. The other four solvers in high frequency suite can be referred to as special purpose solvers. The integral and asymptotic solvers are for electrically very large structures. The eigenmode solver is used for studying 3D resonance structures or their eigenmodes. And the multilayer solver is a planar MOM solver that can be very efficient for PCB simulations. Technology examples for high frequency include, but are not limited to, aerospace applications like EMI shielding and radar cross-section, component design like cavity filters, antenna design or wireless coupling, and PCB and signal integrity analysis. Next, let's move on to EM Studio for static and low frequency. Static solvers mean no time varying fields, and these solvers include electrostatic, magnetostatic, and stationary current, where low frequency and time and frequency domain assume small changes to fields over time. Key area for static design include MRI and life sciences and induce current losses and transformers. At the forefront of low frequency design are electric motors, especially with the research in the automotive industry, as well as electric generator design for water and wind turbines. CST Studio Suite includes low frequency solvers and opera solvers for enhanced material study and capability for electric motor design. Next, let's take a look at the industry's most unique set of solvers, Particle Studio. Particle Studio includes four solvers, the tracking solver for particle movement in a static EM field, weight field solver for particle mean excitation, particle and cell solver for transient particle movement, and electrostatic particle and cell for space charge versus time. Few people know that CST's origin by Professor Thomas Violin was not to solve Maxwell's equations for wireless design, PCB, or motors, but was to assist design in the world's most advanced particle colliders, and Particle Studio is a unique set of solvers rarely found in the market. Design examples include electron gun simulation as well as magnetron design. Moving on to multiphysics. Multiphysics solvers include stationary thermal, transient thermal, conjugate heat transfer solver for CFD, and structural mechanical solver. The stationary and transient thermal solver are very quick and accurate assuming the correct approximation is made from the heated surface boundary to air. But when a more complicated approach is needed, the conjugate heat transfer solver employs computational fluid dynamics to simulate thermal conduction, convection, and radiation simultaneously in the transient or steady state regime. And it can incorporate fluid flow cooling models for both air and liquids. Cable Studio allows the engineer to create or import complicated cable routing, which could be used for automotive, naval, or commercial environments. There is a library of cable harness, transitions, and shielding options and simulation results include S parameters and radiated emissions. PCB Studio incorporates three mathematical techniques, including 2D transmission line, 3D partial element equivalent circuit, and 3D finite element frequency domain. 
PCB Studio has a total of five solving tasks, and here we will discuss the high frequency. SITD analyzes transmission line behavior while providing crucial time domain results, including delay, reflection, over and undershoot, and crosstalk. SIFD analyzes the frequency domain S primer results. And DDR4 analysis is a wizard that uses the SITD solver for specific results related to DDR4 memory technology. Moving on to other PCB Studio tasks, IR drop analysis uses the 3D PEEC solver to analyze the voltage drop on a power or ground plane system and can export these losses as a heat source for thermal management studies. PI analysis comp computes the impedance over a power distribution network and includes a topographical display for quick analysis of problem areas. Geometry is imported into PCB Studio from an array of layout tools, including Cadence, Mentor, and general file formats, including OBD++. Signal integrity results include S parameters and transit results like I diagrams. Many PCBs have FCC requirements for radiated emissions, which can be conducted in CST along with an in-depth study of the 3D fields. And as mentioned, the voltage IR drop can be exported as a heat source for a co-simulation and thermal heat map. Board check is built inside PCB Studio and allows for imported boards to be evaluated on industry standard netlist routing rules. This is a quick value add on design rules before time is invested in simulation. Design Studio is a schematic design tool which uses SPICE format for system level simulation with analytical and measured based models, customizable libraries of linear and nonlinear components, including IBIS models, and integration to 3D simulation projects. System assembly and modeling, known as SAM, allows engineers to compare the results of different solvers or model configurations within one simulation project and perform post-processing automatically. SAM also allows for hybrid or multiple solver simulations. Examples include simulating a solo antenna in frequency domain and applying these near and far field sources in the integral or asymptotic solver. SAM also allows for unidirectional workflow when coupling between the source and the platform is weak or bidirectional workflow for higher coupling between source and platform. As we approach the end of the presentation, I will highlight several key industries and associated EM devices. In aerospace and defense, common applications include antenna performance and design, lightning strike on aircraft, radar cross-section, co-site interference for closely placed antennas. In transportation and mobility, still antenna performance can be imported, can be very important, along with cable harness design, automotive radar and range finding, and of course, electric motors. In the energy market, components include high voltage devices, transformers, and of course, motor and generator design. In industry equipment, applications include RFID design and placement, wireless connectivity in an assembly line or warehouse, motors and actuators, and again, co-site interference for closely placed antennas. In life sciences, applications include MRI devices, wireless implants and wearables, and heating and diathermy, as well as x-ray tubes. And lastly, high tech, where the wireless connectivity continues to be important for antenna performance, microwave and RF components like filters, EMI and EMC compa co compatibility for FCC adoption, signal and power integrity, touch screens and cables, as well as cable networks and layouts. What we've gone over today with CST Studio Suite, it is a DC to daylight EM spectrum analysis with multi-physics capability. It has an advanced user interface with CAD and SOLIDWORKS integration. 
enhanced innovation and understanding of design technology is capable using this tool. Virtual prototype allows for early awareness of design and compliance issues. Reduce time to market with cost savings. With that, the presentation is complete and we can now address any questions that you have.